So what character trait got you into the most trouble as a kid? I didn't get into a lot of trouble when I was young. Mm. I didn't get into a lot. If I did, most of the time it was basically with like a group of people. Ah! Oh, I know the one that <laughs> made me fall in. I did chase woman. <laughs> beautiful people this here is Aka hmm? and he is the MOG himself who is Aka oh shit would you mention my name or pronounce it well he's MOG are you Nigerian or not <laughs> Aka 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 did I <laughs> Aka Aka good uh -huh, that's him this is Osas eh uh eh -uh, it's Osas Oh, oh. oh, you know how to mention your name well. Hello, <laughs> guys, and this is Fun Facts with Pulse. What was your favorite thing to do growing up? I think singing. Mm -hmm, I, I, I really enjoyed singing when I was young. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I used to listen to a lot of music, R&B, on Saturdays when my aunties and uncles are cleaning the house, sanitation, mm -hmm. they will be blasting Celine Dion. Mm -hmm. Boys to Men, R. Kelly. I was a huge R. Kelly fan, mm -hmm. Joe fan. And I think that, you know, maybe it even messed me up a bit because wow. I became very emotional yeah. and, you know, very lovey dovey mm -hmm. and wanting to. <laughs> when it came to love and those all songs, that, when yeah. I later grew up. So, yeah, mm -hmm. those songs just, you know, yeah, didn't make me a man's man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was not breaking hearts with with uh, you know <laughs> reckless abandon yeah so um yeah i really liked i really liked music i really liked singing yes you we know. can tell now at least th definitely those that are close to you yeah because i don't sing publicly you know what did you want to be when you were a child an actor stop uh, always stop always i've always wanted to be an actor since what age um maybe when i was Okay, so there have been there have been a few things. I've wanted to be a lawyer. I've wanted to be a figure skater, an ice figure skater. Mm -hmm. um, and then I I had a chance to get into modeling and pageantry. And pageantry. So when you did the pageantry, was that like a means to an end, um, or it was you to just help enjoyed with it? my self esteem? I see. So I had low self esteem, and then my parents put me in modeling, and then because I did so well in the modeling school the president of the modeling school now offered me a scholarship into their new acting classes, acting courses. And so that's where my eyes opened. I'm like, wait, what? You can be an actor as a baby. You can be an actor as an old mm -hmm, woman. You can mm -hmm. be an actor at any age. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, not, it's, a, it's a career that is everlasting. So that is what I loved about it. And it was in the arts and I could express myself and yeah, and that's why we are here today as actors. Yay. That's amazing. <laughs> Who was your favorite teacher in secondary school and why? Wow. Um, I've forgotten her name. And she Funny wasn't enough. Your favorite. <laughs> I actually have forgotten all my teachers' names. <laughs> and I only forgot until like like in the last like let's say five years. Why? I just don't know, it's just <laughs> life. I'm now I'm <laughs> now <struggle>. old. <laughs> The struggle of life. The struggle of keeping a family together. Hello. Man. Um, yeah. What impact did that teacher have on you? That? <sighs> I think she was just really kind. Mm -hmm. She was kind and nice to all of us in primary one. Mm -hmm. I think that was just, you know, I don't know if she, if she was my best teacher. When I was a child, mm -hmm. because in secondary school, that's a different ball game altogether. I have a yeah. teacher and I remember her name. Mm -hmm. um, actually a couple, <clears throat> but in, when I was a child in primary school, I think Mrs. Brown, was that her name? Mrs. Brown. Miss Brown, I Ms. think? Miss Brown. Yeah, so mm -hmm. she was really nice, really kind, okay. she really, really... And at that time, we had teachers who really wanted to teach and who loved teaching and who loved students and loved children mm -hmm. and cared. Not now that people are doing it because they are looking for money and that's the only paying job they can find. But no, then, but there are good teachers out there. Yeah, I know, but now it's just like there's a mix of yeah. dull ones plus the good ones, mm -hmm. of wicked ones and the kind ones. Yeah. But then you had more kind, definitely, okay. and more, you know, people who put their heart into it than... I think because of the, maybe the system. This is a system, yeah. everything, you know, just Nigeria now is blessed. What was your worst subject in secondary school and why? 
I think I, I tried my best in all subjects. Um, maybe it was in secondary school, well, high school is what we called it, what we call it in the States. Um, I think that's when I realized I did not want to be a lawyer, is when I now got into I, It wasn't my worst, but it just helped me define the What facts. subject was that? It was law. The, they are teaching you law in high school? Yeah. It really? was a law specialized high school. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Sure, sure, man. Sure. Uh -oh. So, yeah, it was a law specialized high school for students that wanted to be lawyers. And I think that helped because then I realized that you didn't want to do I it. I didn't want to do it. Like, it so, was great to learn about torts and law and, you know. But did, does that definitely that. help when you read contracts now? Oh, yeah, definitely. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I didn't go to any law school. But I can read my contracts and understand it. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying. Why are you hating on me? Because I went to a <laughs> law specialized high school. Law specialized high school. Oh, mm. Gosh. What is your worst childhood memory? Childhood mm. memory. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Worst childhood memory. Uh, when my dad got broke. When he got broke. Yeah. So we used mm -hmm. to be very comfortable. Mm -hmm. We used to like, you know, be okay my mom and dad ran a business mm -hmm. he was also like but well, i know something happened and mm -hmm. everything just crashed mm -hmm. i think my worst childhood memory was or is witnessing us go from like this to yeah that's traumatic yeah i think worst childhood memory seeing my mom sell clothes mm -hmm. yeah not that there's anything wrong with it but you know from yeah i mean I, I, I mean so. like from traveling, you know, for vacation mm. and going to the U.S. for like business to, mm. and when I mean sell clothes, I mean like sell okrika. Oh, wow. My mom sold okrika to put food on our table, mm. and you know she would go through like do crazy things to mm -hmm. make sure that we, make we survive, make make ends meet. Mm -hmm. So that that was very very like crazy for me. And what was your biggest fear when you were, you know, growing up? Yeah, growing up. Uh, failure. Wow. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very bad sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very competitive. I and, see. And can you tell? I well, I think it, it, no, I can't tell because you're you're always sweet. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I'm a sore loser. I'm, I'm very, loser. like myself, my friends, when we are playing games like this, hey, we are tearing the entire place upside <laughs> down. Like, at some point, my wife was just like, it's, it's just a game. It's just a game. I'm like, no. Uh -huh. If they win me, it means my soul has yeah. been. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy about genetics is that I see that quality in my daughter. Oh, wow. Like, she cries. The when girl she, is smart, but if she gets one wrong, Ah, wow. flood works, bass, boss, tantrums. <laughs> you got one wrong, Azariah? It's okay. You try harder next time. That's, so yeah, that's I, nice. it's that that sore loser mentality and mm. like yeah, it's it's hard. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So what character trait got you into the most trouble as a kid? I didn't get into a lot of trouble when I was young. Mm. I didn't get into a lot. If I did, most of the time it was basically with like a group of people. Ah! Oh, I know the one that <laughs> made me fall in. I did chase woman. Ah! Ah! That's what made me in trouble! Ah! Ah, no, 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 no. They flogged me for school, reported me to council. They, uh, sent, they literally actually suspended me. Oh, uh, woman matter. I've been flooded. I've been announced on stage. I've been sent home. I've made my parents cry on top chasing girls. Hey, Aka. Caught in the library kissing. Hey, ah. bad boy. And I was in a Christian school, so it was like. It was. Now that I look escalated. about, like, think about it, like, I, to be honest, I wasn't a bad kid. Mm -hmm. I was a young kid. Yeah. It was infatuation. Yeah. It's normal. You can't make me an evil human for feeling what I'm feeling. Hey. For having a first kiss hey. as a teenager. Hey. <laughs> okay, so what trendy thing did you wear as a teenager? Trendy thing? I wore a lot of trendy things. Um, I know, I, re I remember having Reeboks and Felize. Like I, was, I felt like I was the ish. During the baggy era. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. During the nineties look. Yes. It and was then really I had jellies as well. I don't know if you guys know jellies, like those plastic um the plastic with lights. No, no, no. Mm. Plastic sandals with, with sprinkles on them. Oh and yeah, girls a couple yes. of girls used to wear. And that. some of them would light up. Yeah. Yeah. I used to wear those trendy things. But yeah. It was it was cute. Okay. Which Nigerian celebrity did you look up to as a kid? I Nigerian celebrity. Mm -hmm. I remember looking at Onye Kanwenu mm. one time on TV and I fell in love with her. Wow. Fell in love with her voice, her stature, her music, her mannerism. Yeah. I fell in love with the patch on her hair. Wow. Or the white patch. And I would and pray. And that's why you... I would always prayed for it. To really? Have, oh yeah, I prayed for it when I was a kid. And well, I, I mean, I guess prayer works. Yeah. Guys. So one prayer day, works. guess what? Mm -hmm. A couple of months ago, I was on the phone with my mom, you know, video call. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, ah, you have the white patch on your head. I was like, yes, mom. Oh, yes. I, and she was like, oh, nice. So I was like, yeah. So, you know, I saw Onyo Kanwenu with it when I was a kid and I prayed for it. She was like, will you shut up? <laughs> Don't you see white patch on my own hair? <laughs> Your own it, so I was like, oh my god, mom, yours isn't white. It's like <laughs> tinted, you know, white and gray and off some white. brown. It's off-white. Mine is just, you know, and it's just here. <laughs> just like, keep quiet. It's hereditary. You keep quiet. <laughs> uh -uh. Which of your parents was stricter and why? My dad. Mm. My dad was definitely the stricter uh, parents during my childhood. Um, Do you think it's because he was overprotective? He knew you were definitely. very beautiful and he knew he wanted to keep men away from you? Uh, or you were naughty? <laughs> no, I wasn't naughty. I don't think you have a naughty No, I wasn't you. naughty, but you know. Um, you were just overprotective. Oh, very over, overprotective. Very overprotective growing up. And um, yeah, I think that also shaped who I am today. Like, I don't get over Are you the same way with, you know, Azariah? Um, well, I don't have to be so much because she's still she's just a, just a little, kid. Yeah. Kid. But do you think you will be? Yes, I will. Oh. Just like me, I couldn't have a boyfriend until I was twenty one. She can't have a boyfriend until she's twenty one too. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And in fact, my own Gabby, in fact, <laughs> till she's maybe. But I do in fact, not. her boyfriend will be chosen by me. <laughs> if you could go back to your childhood and make three rules at home, what would they be? Oh wow. No shouting. No raising your voice. <laughs> Children cannot shout. No, like my dad oh, used to raise okay. his voice a lot. Mm -hmm. And it made us scared of him. My dad is an amazing man. Mm -hmm. We love him. He loves us. He loves everybody. But mm -hmm. we all had the fear mm -hmm. of him. Yep. Until like now, we're like, if he shouts, we Daddy Abe! <laughs> He'll not be like <laughs> <laughs> He listens and yeah. everything, but it's just who he is. He yeah. he's just. It's easier for him to raise his voice, and I picked on that. Mm. So I raised my voice a lot. Okay. And I would just wish that I didn't see that a lot, yeah. or you know that because his siblings, we, everybody was afraid of him, wow. um, just because you don't want to hear that, you know, loud voice in mm -hmm. your head. Mm -hmm. um, I would also say uh, another rule. Mm -hmm. Maybe family festive traditions. We should we should have mm. kept on like traditions. Like mm. you know, we we love each other. My family is you know, but we are we didn't do have enough of family traditions. Mm. Like everybody has to come eat together yeah. on a table at a certain time. Mm -hmm. Or oh, um, everybody you know, has to be around for Christmas. We all have to be at home, like everybody, no matter where you are in the world, you are all coming you back for Christmas or beautiful. for a birthday. Yeah. I didn't celebrate a birthday for the longest time. Mm. So till now, like, <laughs> my birthday can pass. It was my last birthday that I had like my friends come in, like, yeah. It was. It, it was, was beautiful. I saw. Thank that. you, my love. It was. It, was, so it nice. was. I was pushed to do it. My manager, really? my wife, they pressed on it because I'm just like, why? Mm, it's a day, like you know. Oh, it was really. So yeah. But we could at least 
online. Yeah, and online. after it, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I was just like, is this what it is? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, the one day I feel loved, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, I really liked hosting people, yeah. you know. So, I wish that, you know, we did more of that when we're, like, you know, we, you know, made little... And my wife is very festive and she's very, like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Sometimes, like, a month to Christmas, she's counting down. I'm, like, Yay. Christmas, Lily, can you calm down? What's going to happen in this Nigeria that is now, you know? Uh, she sees lights and she's, like, ah, Christmas lights. Right. I'm, like, season. yeah, so yeah. I wish I had that. So, now I'm doing trying to be conscious for to yeah. do that for Gabby, you yes. know, and, you know, um, make us have traditions. So, yeah, yeah those two things, yeah. I think, are good That's enough. Cool. What was your most embarrassing moment from growing up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like talking about it. Talk about the second one, my dear. <gasps> <laughs> Because he probably knows my first yeah. one. Yeah, talk about the second <laughs> one. Uh, hey! Oh, so we've come through a lot. <laughs> wow. Uh, my most second embarrassing moment. Well, it have to. Well, it was high school, but it had to be when my parents came to school and embarrassed the crap out of me in front of the boy was afraid if he saw me in the hallway he would go the other way it was that bad and i'm sure other boys too kept like away for a bit or it was private they called him away like, no they called him away oh, that's good but he went and told everybody away. so he now saw me and then like like the next day he had another girlfriend and i'm like ah. i was broken hearted oh but yeah. he was not the one that broke your heart now but still, you would have still your dad talked and to your me. Mom. But my dad and mom are not in the school. You could have still spoke, but they, they gave it to him. He was so scared that he now started going the other way. So that was your first heartbreak? That was my first heartbreak. <laughs> that was my first heartbreak. Okay. Huh. And, uh, along with the embarrassment I remember my first life. heartbreak was in university, year one. And I really wanted to date this. I didn't want to date her, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to press and everything. And then, you know. I don't know if for some reason she coded, but she didn't agree. And I was like, ah. So what I said, one day I was just like, I, 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 I was playing, um, let me cater to you, Destiny's Child or something. Uh -huh. And I was just like, ah. I literally started playing like, cater to you, uh -huh. Joe, and all these heartbreak songs. And I was like, ah, my life is over. And then next thing they said, Aka, one girl is waiting for you. That was like, Okay. Hey! I just, <laughs> you player. I was just like, I was just like, so why why was I dramatic and acting in my room by myself? Uh -huh. You know, for me like heartbroken. I just, ah, oh God, we were young, we were stupid. I wanted to form the, oh, come on, go, yes. go, guys. I can't, yeah. <laughs> what three things did you enjoy most about your character in Man of Gold? Three things. Mm -hmm. I would say. Um, the opportunity to you know arc mm -hmm. a couple of times and just yeah. change the way i talked or the way i walked or the way i portrayed him in different you know um eras of his life mm -hmm. that was interesting nice um how i was able to interface and know who bap was mm -hmm. i had had like opportunities to work with her before mm -hmm. but it never worked out like we didn't seize those opportunities so this time mm -hmm. i just didn't work with her but i got to know her and i really yeah, felt like that awesome. was a nice privilege yeah. you know yeah. and then number three working with my amazing colleagues and mm -hmm. you know cool members it was beautiful to yeah. you know work with everyone i mean we had worked before but i think this also bonded us yeah in a way that was different Absolutely, you know yeah. i think it was because everybody was counting on this movie to do well because yeah. it was a f it was a flipping moment for everybody uh, for everyone yeah we hope you enjoyed man of god yes we enjoyed making it yes it was really the man of god is just yeah. you know uh, just it's a gift and ladies and gentlemen that is fun facts with paul's yay Woo! i hope you learned a lot about us